Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure update rings for Windows 10 and later policy in Microsoft Intune. Windows Update for Business enables IT administrators to keep the Windows client devices in the organization up to date with the latest security updates and Windows features by directly connecting these systems to the Windows Update service. We don't need to approve individual updates for groups of devices and can manage risk in our environments by configuring an update rollout strategy. With Intune, we can configure update settings on devices and configure deferral of update installation. We can also prevent devices from installing features from new Windows versions to help keep them stable while allowing those devices to continue installing updates for quality and security. Specifically, Windows Update for Business let us control update offerings and experiences to allow for reliability and performance testing on a subset of devices before deploying updates across the organization. It also provides a positive update experience for people in our organization because the pilot users knows that they are pilot and they will be the first group that receive all the updates and features but that it can also cause problems. The non-pilot users know that they only receive updates that are tested and do not cause any problems. In this video, we will only talk about update rings for Windows 10 and later policy. Update ring policies are supported for devices that run Windows 10 version 16.07 or later and Windows 11. This policy is a collection of settings that configures when devices that run Windows 10 and Windows 11 quality updates get installed. Quality updates are traditional operating system updates typically released on second Tuesday of each month, though they can be released at any time. These include security, critical and driver updates. Update rings can also be used to upgrade your eligible Windows 10 devices to Windows 11. When we use update rings to upgrade to Windows 11, devices install the most current version of Windows 11. We also have feature updates for Windows 10 and later policy which we will cover in the next video. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a Global Administrator or an Intune Service Administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On Home page, click on Devices. On the Policy, Click on Update Rings for Windows 10 and later. Most of environment may have minimum of three update rings. One for test with a few IT people only. Second is for pilot with more IT people and few users from many department or roles. And last is for production with everyone. In this video, we will create an update ring policy for test update ring. Click on create profile. Provide a meaningful name and description for this update ring policy. We have given a name MSF update ring 01 for test group. We have also added description so that we know the purpose of this update ring policy. Click on next. In Update Ring Settings page, configure the settings as per your requirements. Ensure 
that the Microsoft product updates setting is set to allow. Allow is the default setting and we can see it is already configured. This allows updates from other Microsoft products to be delivered at the same time as Windows updates. Windows drivers setting control whether you want to deploy Windows drivers or not. We are going to keep it to default setting which is allow. User can defer quality updates for the specified number of days. Since this is the test update ring policy, we will go with zero day. And zero is already there. We will also select zero day for feature update deferral period as well. And that you can specify here. If you want to know more about any particular settings on update ring settings page, you just need to take your pointer over this tooltip and here you can get a brief overview information about that particular setting. Configure the setting name upgrade Windows 10 devices to latest Windows 11 release 2 years if you want to upgrade your eligible Windows 10 devices to Windows 11. We are going with no. The next setting manage rollback period. The default in Windows is 10 days. However, when we deploy settings using Indune, we can configure a maximum of 60 days. In this way, if there are any issues discovered after a feature update has been deployed, we have up to 60 days to perform a rollback. Note, the devices must run Windows 10 version 18.03 or later for this extra time. Here we will type 30 days for all backup period. Enable pre-release a build if you want your devices to be on Windows Insider channel. At this moment we are not going to configure the policy for Insider preview. We will create a separate test update ring policy for Insider preview devices. Let us now move on to see how we can manage the user experience settings for updates. The settings we can manage for the user include the automatic update behavior. The default setting is auto install at maintenance time. So that updates download automatically and then install during automatic maintenance when the device isn't in use are running on battery power. When restart is required, users are prompted to restart for up to 7 days and then restart is forced. This option can restart a device automatically after the update installs. Use the active hours settings to define a period during which the automatic restarts are blocked. Click on drop down list. Here we have several other options. You can select the option which is based for your requirement. We'll go with auto install at maintenance time. Let's change the active hours to 9 am to 6 pm. The next setting is restart checks. Ensure that this setting is set to allow which is default as we want the updates to be able to wake the device from sleep mode so long as the device checks are passed, for example, the battery power checks. We want to make sure that end users cannot stop or defer updates from being deployed to their device. Therefore, on the option to pause Windows updates, we will select disable. However, we are happy for end users to be able to check and download updates manually. So make sure that option to check for Windows updates is set to enable. Click on drop down arrow to see the options for change notification update level. From here you can change the update notification level. We will keep it to default which is use the default Windows update notification. You can change it as per your requirement. Next, we have the option to configure the deadline settings experience 
for Windows devices. You have to be careful about these configuration policies because this defines the restart behavior for the users and reminders. We can give our end users the experience that they get a nice toast notification in where they can choose when to install their updates. We can also set a deadline that they must install their updates within specified days. Tap on allow to configure the deadline settings. For this taste update ring, we will configure deadline for feature updates to 2, deadline for quality updates to 2 and grace period to 1. Make sure that auto reboot before deadline is set to yes. Be careful with specifying this value as yes as this may trigger automatic restart before the deadline. I want to remind you that we have configured these settings for our taste update ring. You have to configure the setting as per your deployment plan and policy. For our example, we are happy with the configured settings. Click on next to continue. Set scope tags if needed. Default scope tag is already selected. We'll go with default scope tag. And if you haven't created any other scope tag other than default, then you are not able to see scope tags option while creating update ring policy. Click on next. We have created one security group named update ring zero test devices. We have added one update ring test device to that group. We want to assign this policy to our that group for testing purpose. Click on add groups. From the list, select update ring zero test devices group. Click on select. We have one device in our test device group. Click on next. In the view plus create page, one more time review the settings which we have configured for this update ring. When ready, click on create and wait for the confirmation message. We can see two confirmation messages that the update ring policy is successfully created and assigned. That's all. The update rings are configured and assigned to the test device group. Let's check the end user experience on our Windows 10 device. Go to our Windows 10 device. First of all, we are going to initiate manual sync with Intune. Click on sync and wait for the sync process to complete. This Windows 10 device is member of our test device group on which we have assigned the update ring policy. Okay, sync was completed successfully. To see the result quickly, I'm going to restart this VM. After restart, let's again sign in to this Windows 10 VM. Uh, click on Start menu. Open Settings app. Click on Update and Security. We can see message, some settings are managed by your organization. Here we can see, we don't have the option to pause updates on this Windows 10 device, since we have disabled that option using update ring policy. To see the settings managed by our organization, click on advanced options. Again, we can see the message, some settings are managed by your organization. To see that, click on View Configured Update Policies. Under Policies set on your device, we can see Intune policies getting applied with the name showing Mobile Device Management. This is the setting coming from our update ring policy. So we can confirm that the update ring policy is applied successfully on this test Windows 10 device. Once we have any update available, it will install automatically on this device and user will also get notification for the same. 
One more time, let's initiate a manual sync with Intune. Click on Info and click on Sync. Let's go back to Intune Portal. On Intune Portal, click on Refresh. Click on our policy name. On the monitor, click on Device Status. We can see deployment status for our test Windows 10 device. Deployment status is succeeded, which confirms that the update ring policy is applied successfully on our test Windows 10 device named Lab Win 10 CLI02. We have configured the update ring policy for our test group. Now, when the new update is available, that update will install automatically during the maintenance time on our test device. And for that, we have specified the active hours to block automatic restart during working hours. That's all for this video on how to configure update rings for Windows 10 and later policy in Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.